everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're, we're going to be talking about THQ North's 10th anniversary stream. As this is a very mixy thing. thing. So guys, what we were all expecting for the new game would be a BFDB sequel. And well, we got this instead. SpongeBob SquarePants Cosmetic Cosmic Shake. Well guys, I was a bit disappointed when this was um, announced because I was expecting this to be a Battle for Bikini Bottom sequel, which is something I've been wanting for a long time. I mean, I would, I, that would have been really cool if we could have gotten a sequel, but this is still cool too. Dude, so this is actually also the first ever Spongebob game in a long time to actually be something that was an original game. So let's look at it. The first ever new and original Spongebob game. So let's look at it. Rehydrated was a remake. Hero Pants was just trying to mimic the, the second and based off the second movie. Plankton's Robotic Revenge was just trying to I mean, Activision's attempt to try to make a BFPB se sequel. Truth or Square was based off an Adam the, the, an Adam the, the special episode. Truth or, it was based off the special. Well, and so is Atlantis to Arcantis. So that means our first, the last ever original game we got was Creature from the Crusty Crab. There were not that many Spongebob games that were really original. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman was original, so was Employee of the Month, so was Battle for Bikini Bottom, Let's Hammer Pants, Creature from the Krusty Krab, and Cosmic Shape. Are the only original games. And Switch is cool. So you can obviously see, guys, this is coming to mainly PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and uh, PC. They do hope they fix Nintendo Switch and it's not as bad as what it was in Rehydrate. So now let's analyze the box art. First off, here in the corner, we've got Squidward, looking very nice. All these models kind of kind of look like they're a combiner from Rehydrated, Nickelodeon, All-Star Brawl, and the Sponge on the Run movie. So that's especially what Squidward looks like. Right here, we've got Squidward's house, it looks like, and that is a, an, an exact model well, ripped from Rehydrated. We've also got over here what look like monsters or germs. Hmm, those look like those are going to be the main enemy. In the cosmic shape world, though, guys, we can also see that these things over here look like the purple shiny objects from BFBB. We got the Krusty Krab sign. I don't know if this looks more ripped from the show or if it's ripped from Rehydrated. We have a weird looking Patrick here. Looks like we have Mr. Krabs dressed up in some weird costume. Almost looks like he would dress up as something like that in Camp Coral. We got um, SpongeBob here. Here we got SpongeBob's pineapple here, which doesn't look right. Right, it almost looks like something from the prehistory. We got Sandy over here. And when we saw this originally on the 10th anniversary logo, I thought these were bubbles. Bubbles, but it, it turns out these are not bubbles, that these are portals almost to a new world, which we will be seeing later on. That's pretty much out from that's pretty much everything from the box art. Now let's look at the trailer. So here's the trailer. Announcement for the cosmic shape. Also, Sweet Victory does play in the trailer, so if you're the Sweet Victory artist watching this, I'm not trying to hopefully I don't get copyrighted and I'm not trying to do anything. But first off, we can see here we have Plankton here.
could have been 2.5 speed. I'm also going to mute the audio. So now we can analyze the trailer. Okay, so, waiting for it. Nickelodeon logo. This kind of takes me back to when I analyzed the uh, BFBB Deluxe. Okay, so first off here, it looks like we're about to get the first scene here, if it will ever come. Okay, so first off here, we have Plankton, it looks like here. It's playing the thing here. Plankton's model looks like it's directly ripped from Rehydrated. Him playing his piano right over the THP Nordic logo. That term Spongebob, kind of like in the original Rehydrated trailer. This is all CGI, so we've seen no gameplay yet. Also, guys, apparently in this game, Patrick is supposed to be a balloon in this game. Kind of disappointing. I really hope Patrick can get, he can have a real Patrick instead of a balloon Patrick. Because then first off, we have Spongebob here in his sweet victory outfit. Yes, let's analyze this portal they're going through. We can see some references in here. Mostly these are all instruments in here, but we can see one reference here of mayonnaise. Like, is mayonnaise an instrument? It's the only reference we can find here. All this other stuff is just like guitars. There's like a surfboard kind of like thing here. I don't know if that's a reference. Because there's some monsters here. There might be the enemy. So I'll, maybe, you know, if the monsters are going to be the main enemy of the game, I really do hope uh, they... I really do hope they add the monsters, trench monsters, in from the movie game. Also, we can see all these buildings here in the background. If we get a better angle soon, these are ripped right from Rehydrated. If you can tell by the models, these look like they are taken directly from Rehydrated. They have sand. Yeah, you can definitely tell right here. These mo these building models are directly ripped from Rehydrated. We have Sandy in her um, in her Karate Island suit, which looks pretty nice. First game where we've actually actually where we have seen that. Also, it almost looks like Sandy and SpongeBob are gonna have a karate battle. I hope Sandy, you don't have to fight Sandy in this game because that's kind of wrong. I remember in the Atlantis Square Pantis from for the DS, you had to fight Sandy as a boss fight, and I'm like, okay, this is a no-no. Why is it, why does this have to be a thing? Thing. So I really hope that's not the case here. But if they're gonna do a karate battle, make it something like that happened in a cutscene in Truth or Square or from. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Also, downtime King Bomb looks more in a nighttime evening mode. This guy right here, I don't think is Squidward. This does not look like Squidward. This looks more like the guard guy from Squidville. Maybe this is Squidward, but I do, the, it just does not look recognizable. There's goes a portal on the ground. The portals on the ground almost look like the speed things you have to use in Seal Titans 2. Also here I believe is a Wild West Jellyfish Fields or a prehistoric land. And then we got Spongebob here, another reference from both SB129 and the episode Oh. Looks like we're about to get some volcanoes here, or geyser, geyser volcanoes here. Oops. I Guys are volcanoes. That's something um, different. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the movie game when they kind of had those geysers. Maybe a little bit from Battle for Bikini Bottom as well in the Jellyfish Caves. This SpongeBob here on a rock back into another thing. This is all CGI, by the way. This leads to, I believe this is a Halloween rock bottom. And you can also see Snail Bob. Here's another reference from I was a Teenage Gary. There is the Flying Dutchman. Hopefully it's a bit clearer and see through this time compared to Rehydrated. But it's got that nice green glow, ghost glow here. It doesn't look that see through. Here's the Wild West. You see there's the Wild West level or just the Wild West from Jellyfish Wild West Jellyfish Field since that is going to be a level. You can also see Spongebob writing almost looks like Mystery. This is not the first time. This kind of looks like an outfit from one episode but I can't remember what it is. 
this mystery outfit. This mystery is not the first time in a game where we've written mystery. If those of you who remember playing BSBB on, on Game Boy Advanced. There's Mrs. Puff here. Almost looks like in her outfit from, I think, Test of the West. And almost Test of the West, it looks like. Okay, this game has a lot of costumes. This also looks like another reference from that one episode of Mystery where we saw mystery from My Pretty Seahorse. The bounce on to another portal, and this is where um, I think they're going to be playing more of Sweet Victory. And you can almost say that they're recreating a scene here, but some of the but all the characters besides SpongeBob don't have their um, don't have their actual band geek suit on, so they're Sandy right there, rocking that um, electric guitar. Mr. Krabs is rocking the keys here. Only this time we don't get imposter crabs. Kind of sad also Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy aren't in this game. Also when they're SpongeBob is swinging he's saying sweet victory, yeah. They're missing plankton from the scene when they're trying to recreate it. Mrs. Puff rocking the good to the guitar here. Now a sponge will changing in from a karate outfit. That's the sponge car outfit. There is a night outfit. This is from um Dunces and Dragons. Um, there's this cowboy outfit. I actually don't want to be looking out of that. Back into his regular SpongeBob outfit and back into this area. And then we get at least a 30 minute guitar solo from Mrs. Puff. going to be coming soon. We also have multiple screenshots here. These are all mostly taken from the trailer, so nothing is. No gameplay revealed yet. But let's look at about this game. Wish, wish granting mermaid tears. Here is in the hands of Spongebob and Patrick. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, the very fabric holding the way the very universe together could come very undone. Fun. Opening up portals into wish worlds full of knights, cowboys, pirates, and prehistorical snails. But that's not. But that's nothing everyone's favorite sponge can't handle. With the right cosmic costume, everyone, everybody can do the cosmic shape. I mean, well, number one thing is I don't really like the name of the game being cosmic shape. It just sounds too pity. It sounds too baby and kiddish. If there were gonna be a name to a SpongeBob game, I want it to be. I want to make it. I want to make sure the SpongeBob looks is like the game style. I don't want to make it almost seem like it's directed towards kids. I want to make sure it's almost directed to all audiences. Because the title looks a bit kiddish. That's right. Key features: unlock costumes, unlock classic and new platforming skills, like the fish hook swing and the karate fish. Well, guys, we can only assume the fish hook swing. That is, sounds exactly like from Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, where SpongeBob with his fishing gear had to grab onto those hooks. Hooks that we saw a few times, so that's interesting. The karate kick, I mean, the only time I've ever seen a karate kick in a SpongeBob game was, was for Battle for Bikini Bob Sandy's, Sandy's karate to kick. Done more than 30 fantastic costumes like Snail Bob and Sponge Bar. That's gonna be interesting. More costumes. Travel to some distinct worlds like Wild West Jellyfish Fields and Halloween Rock Bottom. 
Only how fun would look interesting. And, jo and wild west jellyfish feels it. That's gonna sound a bit weird. Experience all the buddy movie banter with SpongeBob's permanent companion balloon, Patrick. That sounds a bit weird. Hopefully, we get the regular Patrick. Meet all your favorite bikini bottom mites from the series voiced by their original actors. So hopefully we get Mr. Krabs in here, but that sadly means no Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Like, I would have loved a, a wish world where we could get to meet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I mean, they could go get, like, Joe Lasky to voice Mermaid Man and maybe get Roger Bumpus to voice Barnacle Boy since Squidward did Barnacle Boy sound alike and Joe Lasky did a good job voice acting Mermaid Man in Lights Cat and Pants. So, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy in the in-game soundtrack featuring 101 songs from the series, including Sweet Victory. Also going to be a problem for YouTubers, because for YouTubing guys, of course, you know that with music policies are very strict nowadays. They're very strict with copyright songs. With copyright songs, so even a 0.1 set, 0.1 nanosecond could cost you of music can cost you an entire video, of an entire video. So yeah, I don't know how it's going to be going around. This video might get taken down due to due to due to sweet victory. And, but I'm sure I'm sure some of the other SpongeBob songs won't get copyright, like the campfire song and other stuff like that. And sweet victory is in big risk for people playing this game on YouTube. This is going to be a bit challenging, especially as from what we've had experience before. This is. Because um, if you remember from the summer, guys, when I ended up getting World Bombs Freestyle taken down because of Monster Energy theme song, so yeah. Alrighty, story. SpongeBob and Patrick meet a mysterious fortune teller, Cassandra, who gives them a vial full of mermaid, mermaid's tears. Legend claims they grant wishes of those who are pure of heart. After the two best ways to get over some of your wish, uh, wishes, tears, tears open in the very fabric of space, all while releasing cosmic jelly onto Bikini Bottom, opening portals to strange wish worlds in the process. Out up to our heroes to rescue their friends who got lost in wish worlds and bring back Bikini Bottom's most iconic buildings. But Cassandra has her own devious plan. Too much in for the um, Steam page. So yeah, women, boys and girls, well, when I originally heard the announcement of the Cosmic Chick, I was disappointed, and this led me to a big question. Will we ever get a battle for Bikini Bottom 2? It's something I really hope for. Or is, um, I, is the Battle for Bikini Bottom sequel would be really good. I don't know if we will ever get it now due to this new SpongeBob game. I really wanted it to be this, because, you know, it would be cool. Out of everything else, I was not expecting to get Cosmic Shake. I was expecting practically anything else, and I kind of wanted anything else. Even what we got was a rehydrated DLC or a remake of a movie game or Pitch from the Krusty Krab or Life Scaring Pants. I would have been satisfied, but. or But yeah, I, remember what, I, I got really disappointed because I was really expecting this to be it because I saw almost everybody saying, okay, this is going to be a Battle for Bikini Bottom sequel and it's going to get announced. I saw this from. My own opinion, I saw it from Blue Knight, I saw it from YouTube comment sections, as well as Writers DX, Shift, uh, No Life 4, or oh, this is a lot of people, so I was kind of bummed that we didn't get it, but still, a new SpongeBob game is kind of nice. It's definitely going to be interesting. I don't know what will happen with this game, it's going to be very interesting. Who knows, this SpongeBob game may be the second best SpongeBob game we've ever got. I still don't think it'll be as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom, the original Battle for Bikini Bottom. That thing I don't think will be unbeatable. Who knows? Maybe in the Cosmic Shake we'll get some Cruise Boosting. I don't know. That'd be cool. So basically, guys, with the Cosmic Shake, for my conclusion, and I'm messed up. I'm gonna. Hey, we're gonna pretend that Blooper never happened. It just said. From basically from what I saw by the description, and this game is also a platform, and I've heard people might say this might bring stuff from Battle for Bikini Bottom style, like gameplay back, so from my understanding, this game is going to be a combiner of Battle for Bikini Bottom, Fidget from the Krusty Krab, and Bikini Bottom Tales.
It's gonna feature gameplay features from Battle for Bikini Bottom. Bottom, it's gonna because these wish worlds are very much like very much like the dreams and creature from the Krusty Krab we got. So it's gonna be um it's, it's, it's gonna be interesting. And it's all gonna be like Bikini Bottom Tales. And Spatter and SpongeBob open up these wish worlds and wish portals. It's almost like in Bikini Bottom Tales where SpongeBob and Patrick get sucked through a book. Book book through all the all from all these old worlds. And also, as one last thing, guys, is there was another disappointing thing about the, this the the um the tenth anniversary thing. If we if you remember from the logo, if you saw at the very top of the one one the first thing when the when letter one was forming or number one the number one was forming, you can see at the top there was something a picture of Grave Digger from Steel Titans two. Unfortunately, guys, there were no Steel Titans 2 announcement or Monster Jam announcements. I really wanted, really did want a, um, a DLC to the game, but unfortunately, guys, that did not happen. That did not happen, so, um, yeah, another disappointment, but that'll be pretty much it for this video. So, yeah, yeah everyone, have a good afternoon, and we'll see you guys next time.